Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. And Mark, you got a Spanish treat for us this morning to celebrate, say, it's open weekend, which is fantastic, keeping the Spanish theme alive. So what do we need to start with? Because this looks complicated. Right, yeah, we've got a few components to uh, the dish. But yes. So we're going to split it up. We're going to share the work and responsibility. OK, good. So, I'm with you, Chef. Don't you worry. <laughs> have you made a hollandaise before? No, no, actually. It's really no. easy. So same principles as the mayonnaise, so yes. you're making an emulsion. But we've got our egg yolks in here, so just crack the egg yolks. We're going to cook it over a pan of simmering water. Right. All right, so we want to cook these egg yolks out. So you want to keep whisking them. Right, you don't want to scramble them, though, no, do no, you? No, no, don't scramble them. Right. But you want to get air into them, and they want to be cooked, so it will thicken. In this okay. pot here, we've got some white wine vinegar, a little yep. bit of thyme, and some white wine. And I've reduced it down, so it's quite intense. Mm -hmm. That's going to go in now. OK. And then that, that's just going to uh, give us some uh, acidity. What are the dangers with doing something like this? What can potentially go wrong? <laughs> well, stay tuned and you might find out. <laughs> yeah. uh, no. no, so if you... Because you've got the heat there and it's going to cook the eggs, if you don't stir it or if you just walk away, you're going to uh, scramble them. OK, So cool. pretty much that's... That's sort of the dangers. I was just uh, covering my bases. Yeah, no, no it's good. It's what good. can good go question. wrong, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Um, in here, we've got some uh, butter, which we've just yep. melted, and we're just letting it sort of... It's still melted, but we're just letting it cool down a bit, and then we're going to use the butter, or the melted butter, as um, like the oil in a mayonnaise. So we're going to take it off the heat, and we're just going to drop it in once the egg yolk's cooked and whisk it in, and you get this really buttery, rich hollandaise mm. sauce, which is fantastic. OK, and the reason you let that cool down is so it doesn't basically cook the eggs. Yeah, you just... just yeah. Just, well, I mean, your eggs are already cooked, so you don't want to make it too... If it's too hot, hot, you run the risk of sort of Spl overheating right. and spli splitting it as splitting well. Splitting it, yeah. Yeah, so there's a, quite a few things that can go wrong, but um, you'll <laughs> be fine, Mike. concerns me slightly. You'll be all right. Right, we're going to make this romesco sauce. So this is Spanish sauce, what I was saying. And we've got some um, char-grilled peppers, so you can just buy these in a, in a jar. You know, really easy to do. All the hard work's been done. Or if you want to get fresh capsicums, pop them straight on the gas or a blowtorch or even a hot grill. Uh, blister them, pop them in a bowl with some um, cling film over the top, let them steam, peel them, and you'll end up with the same product. So basically, we're just going to pop them all in and blend it. So you've got really sort of full of flavor, chunky, thick uh, almondy sauce. Bit of garlic going in there now. We've got a bit of smoked paprika going in. Some tomato puree. How are the eggs? You're good. So I was just going to ask you while you're doing that, how do you know when it's ready to put the butter in? Well, it's going to go nice and thick and airy. Oh, okay, cool. So you can sort of start whipping it as well a bit. Okay. <laughs> Figure of eight. Okay, cool. There you go. Uh, sherry vinegar goes in. A little bit of olive oil. Some almonds, blanched almonds. Make sure they're uh, blanched and peeled. Um, pop those all in. Yeah. And go a little bit of salt and pepper. Jeez, Splash loving of the, lemon juice. Loving the Spanish flavours. This is incredible. Well, that's it. And then one of those classic flavours, you know, you've got those roasted peppers and you've got that uh, smoked paprika as well, you know, so you get that nice, beautiful, fresh, smoky flavour. Mm. And then that touch of heat. I'm going to pop a little bit of lemon juice in there as well. And then all we're going to do is just blend that. So it'll all come together. Um, but you want a little bit of texture in. Mm. Go. Look at that, Spanish. It looks Spanish. <laughs> this is fantastic. I think our eggs are coming along nicely. I can feel it thickening up here. Yeah, there you it's go. You, good. Can, you can see yeah. it. That's, that's really good. So if you get to this stage, you want to be really careful. So I'm just going to turn the heat off. Okay. You've still got that steam going, so just going to cook it out a little bit more. Yep. And then when we come back, we're going to add the butter. You know, I was thinking before, Mark, how do you know when this is ready to stop? You can actually feel it, which is the thing. You can feel it getting thicker. So if you're wondering at home, that's how you know. So what do we do now? Right, so you've got it to this stage. Take it off the heat now, because yep. any more heat, you're going to split it, where well, you're going to scramble it. Okay, cool. And then we're going to slowly bit by bit, just pour in a little bit of this butter. Okay, cool, so just slowly add the butter, mix it in. That's it, so same as mayonnaise now. You know, oh, a little yeah. bit at the beginning, get it in, and then you can add it a little, well, slightly faster. Once okay. you've got a base in there. Once you can feel it mixing up. Yeah. Okay, good. And what then... else do you put in hollandaise? Well, that's pretty much it, really. <gasps> I can smell you it. You know, oh. we're just gonna season it, a little bit of lemon juice. Yes, pinch, oh, a little bit of lemon. Pinch of salt. You know, so that's your, that's your basic hollandaise, you know. I mean, you can you can put loads of herbs in here, blend herbs through it, you can put chilli through it, you put tarragon through it, it makes a Bernays sauce. You know, anything you want, you can put tomato through it. You know, be creative. 
It smells incredible. And hollandaise is something people get a little bit scared about making, but I think once you've given it a go and you realise how easy it is, just follow Mark's instructions and you'll get this beautiful, rich, beautiful colour too, hollandaise. You'll be able to uh, nice. make this every day now. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be having to listen to Dr Emma Perry if I'm going to keep making this every day though. OK, so what are you doing now? Right, so I'm going to make a quick, quick salad for the tuna. Um, so I've got some pink grapefruit, which I'm just going to do some segments. And then I'm just going to shave some fennel, nice and thin. I'm just going to keep this raw, so this is great. Really sort of refreshing, aniseedy flavour. Great for summer. Yep. Just keep it nice and thin. Do it with a sharp knife or even a mandolin. Um, that goes in the bowl. Got some red mm. onion as well. So, same again. If you're going to use raw onion in a salad, you know, use red onion. Okay. As opposed to white. Nice. Um, nice and thin, so that goes in. And these little tops of the dill as well, uh, of the fennel, you know, it's a bit mm. like dill, got great flavour. Use that as a herb, you know. Nice. Waste not, want not. You can really smell the freshness and all the ingredients that we are using here. So that goes in and just straighten with some segments, you know. And you want a little bit of juice. As you're doing this, catch a little bit of the juice. That's going to okay. sort of, you know, get all that flavour and make almost make like a little dressing. And then we're going to finish it with a bit of lemon oil, a little bit of salt, and that's it, you know, to keep it really simple. Okay, so Lots when, you, of fresh flavors so on when there. you're cutting up your grapefruit, yeah, leave it just, over the bowl. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Um, nice. Splash of lemon juice. Right, and we've got a pan on over here. Yeah, I have got the pan on over here. What are we going to cook this tuna, are we? Right, we're going to sear it. We're not going to cook it. We're going we to don't sear want to cook it. it. Okay, cool. Right, so get your tuna. This is quite exciting. What a good so, way to round off the week. Just going to take the belly off. I mean, you can still use the belly. Yeah. Just for this now. Just going to cut a nice portion, mm -hmm. give it a little bit of salt and pepper, get a really hot pan, a little bit of oil in there. Okay, cool. I'll get some oil in here. I'll let you take that though, so it's okay. out of my way. Beautiful. Yep. And uh, once it's nice and hot and the oil's smoking, pop it down, do about 10, 15 seconds on each okay. side. And then if you want, you can just do around the sides, but you don't need to. You just want a little bit of uh, colour on there, a little bit of searing, and then we'll slice it for the salad. We've got okay. a romesco sauce here, which is all, all made. That was really fast. Got our salad there, nice textured salad. Everything's going good. Where's the fork? I need a fork to turn my, uh, or something to turn the salad. I mean the <laughs> tuna. <laughs> Fresh That's enough. It. Yeah. There you go. Is that right? Just, yeah, that just, right? just a little bit. You know, if the pan's a little bit hotter, you'd get a slightly bit more colour, but that's fine. And you can see it's cooking around the side, so you don't want to cook it any more than that. You know, so you'll see it when we slice it after mm. it's cooked and it's still nice and uh, raw in the centre, and that's what you want to do. Brilliant. OK, cool. Well, you keep an eye on that for me. Finish off the sauce. We'll put it all together soon and we'll see the finished product. Nice. No, so I've just started plating it up. So I've got a beautiful, fresh, citrusy, crunchy salad. Just put some box, uh, dots of ricotta in there. We'll just uh, bake the chorizo sausage, slice that, slice the tuna, and we're going to finish it with this fantastic hollandaise. Look at that. Oh, nice. Yeah, cool. Sounds good. Anytime you're ready, you yeah, can bring, bring it, it over. over. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> He's hungry. There you go. <laughs>